In the comment section of a previous video, I got a request to go over the concept of masked use flags. Now, masking packages is something that you may be familiar with, and it's something that's covered fairly well in Gentoo's documentation, but masking use flags is a little bit more obscure, and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to put this video out to cover this topic. So to begin with, what is masking? Well, masking is a way to prevent certain things from being installed on your system. When something is masked in Gentoo, it will not be installed on your system unless you unmask it. Now, you can mask based on use flags. That is, prevent any packages on your system from using certain use flags when they are installed. And you can also mask based on individual packages themselves. This particular video will cover the former topic of masking by use flags. There are a number of reasons why you may want to mask certain use flags on your system, and there are actually several use flags that are going to come pre-masked on your system in your profile. Many times use flags only make sense on certain computer architectures or under certain other very specific circumstances. And so sometimes it makes a lot of sense to just mask out certain use flags that could only be damaging to your system. The profile that you chose for Gentoo is going to actually be the main source of your default masked out use flags. Now, to my knowledge, there is not a straightforward and easy way to get a list of all of the masked use flags on your system. But if you navigate to the user portage profiles directory, we can ls that out here, and you can see that there are a number of subdirectories here. This directory contains all of the files associated with the various profiles that you can choose for Gentoo. Whichever profile you're currently using for Gentoo is going to get a lot of its default information from this particular directory. And among that information is going to be its default masked use flags. Now you can see what profile you're currently using by running eselect profile show. And it says current etsy portage make .profile stem link is Default Linux AMD 64 17.0. Now that's actually going to correspond with a directory structure here. As you can see, we have the default directory under user portage profiles. We can go there. LS and see that we also have a Linux directory, which corresponds with this here. And within that Linux directory will be an AMD 64 directory, and within that will be a 17.0 directory. Now in each of these directories, there can be various files that will affect the defaults on your system. For instance, here in the default Linux subdirectory, we have a use.mask file. If we were to cat that out, we can see a number of unmasked use flags that the Linux profile takes advantage of and sets as your default here. Your specific chosen profile, however, is not the only source of masked use flags. If we navigate back out to the user portage profiles directory and navigate to the base directory, you can ls this out. This directory represents the base Gentoo system and its base defaults, and it also has a use.mask file, which we can cat out. And see that there are lots and lots of masked use flags in here. This is going to be a major source of the flags that are default masked on your system. The various subdirectories beneath the user portage profiles directory are going to contain lots of different use flags that may or may not be masked out. As I said, there's not really a good way to get a complete list of all of the currently masked use flags on your system. So the best thing to do is to navigate to this directory and check out these various files to see which use flags are masked out here. Now, if you want to mask a use flag for yourself, that can be done very easy. The first thing that you'll want to do is to navigate to the Etsy portage directory. Masking use flags manually is done in the profile directory under Etsy portage. If this directory doesn't exist for you yet, you'll want to create it, but mine already exists. So I'm going to navigate into the profile directory. If we want to mask out a use flag globally, which is the simplest way to do it, then we will create a file under this directory called use.mask. And in the use.mask file, we will put the various use flags that we do not want our system to install under any circumstances, even if we explicitly say that we want them. Portage will prevent the installation of any packages that either require one of the flags that we list in this file here, or that feature one of those flags listed here as an enabled optional use flag. 
Now to demonstrate specifically what I mean by that, let's open a new window here. Let's say that I want to emerge the package with dash p for pretend because we're just demonstrating dev lang tk. Okay, dependencies. As you can see, this package has a use flag enabled called threads. If I were to emerge tk right now, it would be installed with the threads use flag enabled. Now we can prevent that flag from being enabled if we add the threads flag to our use.mask file here. So let's write. Now if we try to emerge the package again, you can see that the threads flag has been disabled. In fact, it's not just been disabled, but it's surrounded in these parentheses here to indicate that it has been masked, meaning that we cannot enable it without disabling the mask first. If we try to manually enable it, such as by declaring the threads use flag as an environment variable when we try to emerge the package dev lang tk, we will see that it remains disabled and masked out. There is no way to enable the threads use flag right now because we have it globally masked. Any packages that we try to install that require the threads use flag or any package that we try to install and manually enable the threads use flag will not have the threads use flag enabled because we have it totally masked out. Portage will prevent anything from installing a package that requires the threads use flag. However, if we go over here and disable the threads use flag by removing it from the use.mask file and then try to emerge TK again, we can see that threads has been re-enabled and TK will be installed with the threads capability now. You can also mask out individual use flags for specific packages. To do so, you need to create under the Etsy Portage Profile directory a file called package.use.mask. In this file, you will put any package-by-package package use flag masking that you want to perform. The easiest way to demonstrate what I mean is to use our previous example of TK. We can disable the threads use flag for just the TK package by putting in dev lang for the category, forward slash TK for the package TK, followed by the use flag that we want to mask out. In this case, for demonstration, the threads use flag. Now if we write this and go back here to emerge the package again, let's get rid of this particular part. You can see that threads has been disabled and masked out for the devlang tk package, but not for the devlang tcl package, which also uses threads. That's because we masked out the threads flag only for the tk package here in package.use.mask. This is really the most common and useful way that you will probably be masking out use flags because sometimes it happens that individual use flags for individual programs will cause problems on your system. And one good way to deal with that is to mask them out in the package.use.mask file to ensure that the programs will never be installed with that functionality that causes problems for you. Now in the package.use.mask file, we can also mask out flags for specific versions. As you can see over here, devlang tk 8.6.8 .8 is the version that we are attempting to install here. So we can mask out the threads flag just for that specific version by entering the version right here. devlang tk 8.6.8 .8. And let's say that we want to mask that out for that version and all later versions. We can do the greater than or equal to sign right beside it. If you watch my videos on setting use flags in the package.use file or directory on your system, then you probably recognize this syntax right away. It's the same exact syntax as in the package.use files. It's just that here you are using it to mask out individual use flags instead of enabling individual use flags. So we can write that. And if we go back here, let's clear some space and try to emerge again. You can see that threads remains masked out because we are masking it for that specific version of TK and all subsequent versions. Now, what about unmasking use flags that are masked by default on your system? How do you accomplish that? Well, the best way to go about doing that is in the same files that you would put in your Etsy Portage Profile directory, such as use.mask. For instance, a good example of a use flag that is disabled by default on my system, also in the TK 
package is the Aqua use flag. Now, if you go in and you read about this flag, it is actually meant for Mac OS X. And so it's not at all useful on my Gentoo Linux install. However, we can enable this use flag in the Etsy Portage profile directory with the package.use.mask file. Now here we can put in, once again, an entry for dev lang tk, but instead of just putting a use flag after it, we can prefix the use flag with the minus sign and say aqua, because that's the one we want to enable. Now, in the normal package.use directories, this syntax would actually disable a use flag. But here in the package.use.mask files, this will revert a previously masked flag, such as in your default profile, and allow you to install programs with that particular flag. So we can write that here and emerge TK again. And as you can see, the Aqua flag is no longer masked, which means that we could emerge TK with the use variable set to aqua. And we would be attempting to emerge TK with the aqua flag set. Now again, this specific flag aqua is meant for Mac OS X and you're likely to break packages if you try to compile for Linux with flags like that enabled. Most of the flags that are disabled in your profiles are disabled for a very good reason. And you should always research before choosing to enable default disabled use flags this way. However, if you know what you're doing, this is the way you go about doing it. And you don't just have to do it package by package like this. You can also do this same syntax in the use.mask file that I showed you how to make earlier in this video. That will unmask flags globally. Again, that's something that you want to do very carefully and handle with care because you can cause severe damage to your system if you try to unmask flags without really knowing what you're doing. And that about does it for my video on masking and unmasking use flags. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, thanks so much to O'Neill Jr. for the comment suggestion to make this video. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.